Everything about the construction of the new Queen Elizabeth II class aircraft carriers is on a massive scale. For example, the vessel's hull modules, being fabricated at AMP Tyne's Hebburn Yard, are the size of your average house. The huge structure, part of the £55 million order to build segments for the new carrier, weighs over 200 tonnes, and together with its sister module, will form a complete cross-section of the giant warship. Construction of the first of these modules, known in the yard as H-Ring Port, was recently completed. But given its size and weight, when it required moving 200 meters from the fabrication hall to the specially adapted paint cell, the company were presented with a major challenge. To solve this weighty problem, ANP partnered with heavy lift specialist ALE, who brought to bear their worldwide experience of moving giant structures. The first challenge to overcome was to move the module from its position on the fabrication hall floor to the hall's entrance and position it over the loading pit. First, eight hydraulic jacks were precisely positioned under the unit and slowly lifted into position on wooden blocks. Working in unison, the jacks then lifted the 200-ton module clear of the stands that supported it during construction and then lowered it onto a specially constructed skid track. Running on Teflon-coated pads, hydraulic rams were then used to push the unit on its journey to the hall's entrance. Progress was slow, with the rams being constantly monitored and the positioning of the track checked. Having successfully completed the first stage of its journey, a special remotely controlled heavy lift tractor was moved into position below the module. This 40-wheeled vehicle, each axle of which is capable of supporting 37 tons, raised its deck height and lifted the module clear of the skidding track and then slowly edged it out of the hall at the start of its short journey. With such a massive load and only inches to spare, the operator needed all his skill to maneuver the vehicle around the fabrication hall and reverse into the specially prepared paint cell. It was testament to the skill and professionalism of all concerned that the operation was carried out without a hitch on one of the coldest days of the year.